we're dealing with the Creality Falcon 2 um, 40 watt laser and one thing I noticed when it was sent to me was that the gantry was uh, the z-axis plate was loose it wasn't terribly loose uh, I've done a lot of cutting and the cutting tests have been going great but um, the engraved tests some of them eh, it wasn't doing too good. Some of the letters were shaky and I spent hours redoing my offset scanning and um, you know all that stuff. So my settings are right and everything's set up correctly in Lightburn. So um, I was just flipping this up to do a cut a bigger piece of wood and I have to put the little um, foot extensions on it. So while I had it up uh, I took the laser module off and if you look at the uh, z-axis plate here I mean that's that's loose right I don't remember it being that loose but it goes this way that way all kinds of ways I mean this needs to be firm because you need your laser beam perfectly perpendicular to the surface so and uh, as fast as this thing can go you don't want this you don't want any movement so I'm trying to figure out how without you know reaching out to support looking up anything and I had to deal with this on my X-Tool, but their adjustments on the plate was a real pain in the butt, and I didn't like it. Uh, these are for the wheel inside, for the top. So what I noticed, we've got a nut here, and we've got a hole for an Allen wrench there. So this is going to loosen this. So I, I made sure that was tight, and it didn't do anything, right? So then I started looking and I'm like, well, you know, look at this. There's a little deal right there. And I bet you, I can't do this two-handed, so I'm going to have to put the phone down and then uh, do it and come back. But I bet you, if I loosen up that screw nut, the, the nut there, and then tighten that, uh, so I bet you if I loosen this, and then tighten that, it'll probably put pressure on on the uh, thing, which will pull the plate down, and it should sturdy it up. So if that don't work, then I'm gonna have to go to the internet and figure it out. But I'm gonna try that, and I'll be right back. All right, so we got that squared away. One thing I'll point out is don't be, don't be uh, tricked. When I first started loosening this, Oddly enough, through some kind of witchcraft, it made it real tight. Uh, but it was too tight and it wouldn't move, so then I'm like, well, that's not right. So I, I righty-tighty, right? So I tightened it back in and it got loose again, and then I did this like I wanted to. Just put some pressure on that to the right. I noticed it getting better. So then I made sure this was tight again in here, because that was kind of loose. I tightened that, tightened that a little bit, tightened that a little bit. When that couldn't move anymore and I was comfortable with how it was moving, then I gave a good tight there, tight there. Um, you get, it's, it looks like it's a fine balance between the three. And if we look now, it's not loose. It's not shaking anymore. Um, either way, this way or this way. So that's good. Nice and tight. And it's not any worse than it was earlier going up and down. So... Um, that should be good to go. So there you go. If your Z-axis plate is loose, that's how you do it. It's a combination of these three um, adjustments here, in there, and there. And they give you all the tools you need in your little box. If you have real tools, by all means, use them. But all the tools they give you um, in here do the job. So there you go. Uh, that's about it. Now you know how to tighten your Z-axis plate on the Creality Falcon 2. Go make stuff.